and hopefully we should be live sorry about the delay everyone i was basically busy saving up energy for the stream proper but on the bright side i have two great things waiting for you first of all snowcat simulator Second of all, my secret simulator supply, Quantum Squirrel, is actually joining me for the pre-stream. Hello, folks. How are you? And stop the pony chat, please. <laughs> no pony chat, damn it. Right, so, Snowcat Simulator. Well, basically, this is by the same guys that made Agricultural Simulator. So, every time the big guys do a simulator that basically sells, these guys come along and try to make a game based on it. This is basically which their... Is, uh, yeah. yeah, which, which is, is wor yeah, worse in every way. Always. Which, you, one thinks it's hard to do to be worse than maybe... Um, tank tanker simulator, but no, they get it always worse. Always. <laughs> mm. And this one in particular was their response to Ski Resort Simulator. And they decided, you know what? What people really, what people really want is just the bits where you actually, you know, drive around packing snow and delivering shit. None of that ski resort business. No actual real gameplay. Because screw gameplay, I am alright. Yeah, let's make just not wine simulator, but let's make a uh, grape growing simulator because it's all about grape growing. Exactly. Alright, first mission. Task one, use the small snowcat, it's the yellow one, to transport supply wagon to mid station. Okay, and that's all they tell you. You don't and actually this, know. This is your yeah. mountain. Yeah. Does it does he, does your area have a name or is it just generic mountain resort? It's generic mountain resort. <laughs> yeah. Oh, a lovely snow cannon. <laughs> yes, incredibly lovely. Right then. What I've what is really about the snow cannon? Can you just go back to the snow cannon? <laughs> but I really f what I really f think is funny about the snow cannon where it stands. It stands almost the, yeah. at the bottom, at the bottom of the whole track, where no one will ever ski. No, we do. We snow this part. No one will ever yeah, ski. They, but they we are do standing it. in the yeah. They're standing in the standing in the midst of a snowy field, shooting snow from one spot to another. And uh, they will never actually move from that spot. He will just continuously build and build and build and build and build and build and build and... I don't know, maybe he's going somewhere with that. Alright, let's see. Now, horrible thing about these driving these things. A. The controls are terrible. Basically, this thing just jumps around everywhere. Constantly. Tell us something new. <laughs> Uh, all right, how about this one? Since this thing count works as a tank, and they made an actual tank simulator, these guys, it actually has tank controls, so you can turn in place, and if you're reversing and want to go left, you actually have to press left, because if you're reversing and press right, it will turn in the wrong direction. Uh, okay. So they basically took tank simulator, made the whole desert thing. Oh no, it's not a desert because we are Germans and we don't fight wars in the desert, or maybe in the desert, and made it snowy. And instead of uh, shoot up those bad Al Qaeda guys, it's uh, make a clean ski course. Yep. Or Could anything be more exciting? Also, note number three about these horrible, horrible controls. A 
soon as you reach any sort of speed, the snow cat starts to pull wildly left and right, and you have to basically counteract by tapping on A and D. There is no way to actually drive straight. Um, ice physics! Ooh. Right, so... What is so a snowcat? Yeah, what is the a snowcat? The question is asked, what is a snowcat? Um, basically it's a very philosoph very, a very tank philosophical for snow. question. Yeah, pretty much. Basically up here in the good old north where we have so much snow we don't even know what the hell to do with it. Past a certain point there is only one kind of vehicle that, that can actually get around and that is a caterpillar track vehicle. So we basically take an engine, put some caterpillar tracks under it and then just put a cockpit on it. Hooray! First task complete. And now we're supposed to switch to... What was our task? Okay. What was... What was our task? Deliver something to the... Yeah. Deliver a, su yeah, a supply wagon to the mid-station. I don't know if you this... Stop. Yeah, no, Stop. Did, Stop. Uh, how the heck is... How is this the mid-station? It's at the bottom of the track. A, it's at the bottom of the track and look... The tourist comes, they look out, and they see the the really ugly uh, supply station down there. Oh, it's a beautiful sight, my darling. Let's ski further down. Sip some uh, wine. We can watch those blue-collar workers drive their snow cats around. Yeah, it's quite... Maybe it's a ski yeah. course for Germans. Mmm, how I wish <laughs> to sit in this snowcat. That's that's probably it, isn't it? They finish skiing and they come down and go, Man, I wish I was driving a snowcat. This would be a pretty interesting idea for Germany, so please German investors <laughs> listen a simulator park. Oh dear. Right, should be noted that we actually have to get close enough to the other one in order to be able to quickly switch to it. There we go. Now we are in the big snowcat. And what's the difference Ooh. between the big and the small snowcat? Well, oh, oh, go to our face, go to our face. I have to see how we look. Here's another almost faceless drone, I believe. Ooh. But we're blonde, I think. Yeah, that's pretty Ooh. much it. Blonde and staring look a little, straight ahead. This looks a little bit like those um, CPR uh, CPR uh, training dolls. You know he them does, when you... doesn't he? Yeah. All right, let's head out into this yellow marked zone and well, groom that shit because that's the most interesting part of the day. Snow grooming. <laughs> Getting stuck on flat ground, that's what snow cats do best. All right, there we go. Activate it. Uh, Alpha Thunder Lizard Simulator 2 uh, 2011 would be too awesome for Germany. Sorry. Too high tempo, too much adrenaline. Yeah. I think even Zamboni Simulator would be too much action. <laughs> I'm so annoyed that Zamboni Simulator <laughs> only exists for iPad because otherwise I would have bought that in a heart. Uh, dinosaur Simulator, wasn't there um, a dinosaur hunting game by Discovery Channel where you, which, which is basically a hunting game where you hunt dinosaurs? So replace deer model with uh, Velociraptor uh, or T Rex model. 
and Alliance Simulator, um, I think Domus, um, Maxis made this Wolf Simulators. I think they also made a Lion Simulator. Yep, they made Savage, which was an amazing game, which became a sort of a running joke between me and my friends, because my father bought it for me, and that game is so difficult past level 1, it's not even funny. So I gave it away as a birthday gift to my best friend, and he passed it on to someone else, and that person passed it back on to me, and then I passed it on to a different friend, and so we basically just pass it back and forth for every birthday without anyone ever playing it. I know those gifts who keep circulating forever. The creepy ant simulating game, this was Sim Ants, it was a good game. Simat is a great game, yeah. They should remake that. Basically, the only strange sim game I know of, but it wasn't really, I think, f officially released, but it's an, a Maxis sim game, is Sim Healthcare. Not in as theme hospital healthcare, but in Sim, um, Sim, uh, like in uh, Manage the Health System of a Country. Hmm. Like, do we have something? Oh, I forget. What, now I have forgotten the word for it. Is that what is the thing you Americans don't have? What is the thing that you Americans don't have? So you get really, really poor when you're sick. Universal healthcare, I believe it's called in yes. English. Yes. Yes. Sim universal or uh, sim health? Yes. Such, such things where you had to do in sim health. It's called sim health, I think. Yes, theme hospital is real tits. And um, <laughs> embarrassing German fact, there is a German theme hospital clone predating theme hospital, but uh, not that funny and not that good than theme hospital. It's called Bing and it goes more in the tangents of a body hospital simulator, naughty hospital simulator. <laughs> Oh, the Germans. Oh, yes, I know. Speaking of naughty German games, are they still, are they, are they still making Lula games? I'm just um, honestly, I'm just I honestly curious. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I can look it up. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't one thing to know now about the programming language which is good in which is good contrasted to the games Lua 3D Wait a minute. What? what, we're, what, what? Yeah, we're actually getting percentage completion even when we're grooming outside the designated zone. Bonus objectives? They don't it's actually meant... check whether or not you're in the zone, I think. It's just the entire area. Wow. Maybe this is just a strip they put here for... I don't know. Please don't cross the line because uh, <laughs> we're not getting paid to clean up beyond the line. Beyond the line. It might be something. Or maybe like someone that. dropped some Ooh. yellow tape and yes. Uh, it's just. I don't see it. Is it really yellow tape or is it just uh, a transparent yellow? It is really just a transparent yellow text. Yeah. Put it on top. Yep. And hilariously enough, just like in ski resort simulator, people are actually skiing while I am grooming. Seriously. Okay. 
Yeah, in the middle of the night, some lone guy is just randomly skiing down straight into the face of an oncoming snowcat. I don't I see that think being a good idea. this man has a problem. You should <laughs> call really a helpline. This man is clearly suicidal. He wants to die. Love. He wants to die, doing what he loves best: crashing into, uh, crashing into snow, into plowers. Or uh, the beer was just really cheap, which is. <laughs> I was about to say one of the two. One of the two. Mostly the people, mostly the people here in Germany, and okay, I think the people everywhere just ski for getting up and getting really cheap alcohol on the top. I don't know. Is there any other reason to ski? Not that I know. Oh, sudden javelin! Your topical humor. <laughs> Right, it should be noted that I have given Sudden Javelin the go-ahead to take the piss out of me completely today, because England beat Sweden in the Euros, so... yeah. Sweden is a defeated nation. We have completely su been completely subjugated to the will of the victors. Merry old England. God bless the Queen. On the bright side, you can finally actually watch the news now in Sweden without it turning over to the soccer every 15 minutes. <coughs> I wish I could say that, but Germany <laughs> is too good. Oh, there was. Uh, speaking of World Cup, um, my local radio station had something like a contest where you where you said, um, um, "Yeah, you can now the husbands can win a travel, a great travel with their wives to make up for the time they lost together during the World Cup and where you have neglected your wife." And the uh, the funny thing that you say, and it will be in a country where football is totally not relevant. Austria. I see. <laughs> Which, to explain it to the overseas countries, um, we Germans don't really, A, we don't really like the Austrians a lot, and B, the Austrians did not qualify for this uh, Euro Cup. And somehow 92% was enough. The mission just ended. Marriage Neglection Simulator, uh, isn't this basically Sims? I was about to say. <laughs> I mean, come on, if you're sitting around playing simulator games as a married man... Yeah... No, I was more thinking of Maxis, the Sims, where you can really neglect your life. But yes, simulator games, I wonder if there is ever a female simulator player. Well, there almost has to be. I mean, if farming simulators sold almost half a million copies worldwide, at least one had to be bought by a woman, right? I hope. I think this would be a great, great, great... Uh, this would be a great topic to start some sociological research, which we can hardly do because we are not qualified for it. Bah! Who gives a shit about being qualified? Uh, Blue Sun, there is such a game. It called uh, it is called uh, Concentration Camp Manager, and it was quickly uh, what it was very very quickly forbidden in Germany, and it was not very good. Yeah, I was about to say it was actually a pretty terrible game too. Yes, maybe if you run out of top twenties and you have to do uh, ideological games, no, <laughs> I think. Bear up top you yeah, top 20 ideological games seems like a really bad idea. Yes, it is really a bad idea, but um, I think when you played Barra for the Amiga, um, I think you are in so many watch lists now. Caster's Revenge, yes, Caster's Revenge. 
has Caster's revenge really an ideology? Like, uh, you have to fuck. Uh, sorry for the language. You have to have not willingly sex with Indian women. Liberal Crime Squad is re yes, Liberal Crime Squad is really good. Well, that's tongue in cheek, though. I mean, that's a humor game. Yes. Does it does it really count? <laughs> Let's see now. Wait, wait a minute. Is wait, there a the Custer's Revenge? Uh, Custer's Revenge remake? I is believe. Is there really? A How the heck does this? Please don't actually? save for mobile platforms. Then I lose all my faith in humanity. Sci Alpha, really? It is for mobile platforms. Do, do. Oh. Huh. Oh. Okay. Blue it doesn't actually. It doesn't actually attach. It just magically floats. What? What is this? What is this thing? This. It looks like a turbine or like a, a something for plumbing. What are you it's doing? A, uh, it is a snow cannon, apparently. Some sort of super, super high-tech snow cannon. Yes, Frank Tan, it's a Super Mario tube. We're making a new snow level. Yes! Which would be... This would be an excellent idea. Level designing simulator. Uh, <laughs> be one of the poor guys who, does mush who is in charge of Mushroom Kingdom. Oh, dear. Goomba simulator, yes. Dear Nintendo, I have the idea which will make you rich in Germany. So yes, how far are we driving this thing? All the way up there. Question, can you can you drop your snow cannon and will it roll down, gently down the hill? Hmm, huh. that's a good question actually. Let's see if it actually has physics. Give it a bit of a nudge. No. <laughs> it just <laughs> fell it just fell straight down. <laughs> no fun allowed. Oh, but at least the moon is beautiful. Standing in the sky. Yeah, and that is one hell of a moon, Jesus Christ, where are we the equator? Maybe it is a crossover with Twilight Simulator, and suddenly you turn into a werewolf. Which would make this game fun, so it is not in this game. Yeah. That seems to be like some sort of unwritten rule with these simulator games. It's basically, would this make the game fun to play? If yes, don't. Okay, let's see. Uh... And it just magically disappears. Okay, good work. <laughs> All right, full speed down the hill. We. Do 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 do. Article. So yeah. So basically our current mission is just drive up and down this hill with snow machine turbines. Yes. Uh is this the only mission this game has? I just asked. I'm not entirely sure. I think that it's basically one long unbroken string of missions. Because I can see how someone could get really bored with this land, uh, with this area. <laughs> really, you don't say. Actually, it's sort of interesting. I think we're just completely locked in by mountains. There are no roads around. Yes, no roads. Completely locked in by mountains. Um. I wonder where these mountains are. 
Can someone ch uh, check Google image search for the first pair of Alpine mountains that come up? Norway. Hmm, is it Norway? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It it, it respawned. I took a snow a snow cannon turbine from this pile here of three and drove oh, up. And it respawned. And the, yeah, and then when I came back one had respawned in the left pile, but one had disappeared from the right. Well, um, this is a Snowcat Supplier Simulator. This is part of Snowcat Supplier Simulator, which can be plugged right. into the simulator. Wait, so simulator this elves? Yes, go? this is this is a nice idea that there is a race of funny little creatures who help Santa Simulator to manage all the simulators. So wait, was this the wrong one? Am I was I not supposed to take this one? Oh, I was supposed to take the one in the middle, of course. How silly of me. Yes, Lord Copter, I agree. This, all simulators are kind of Sisyphus simulators. Especially this one. You go up a great big hill and um, what you brought up respawns. There we go. Why won't it just let me pick any of them? I mean, they're exactly the same. No, they are not. They are not. They are finely celebrated. Uh, fine, uh, they are finely tuned to this area where they are should be. If you put one on the fourth area, there will be an avalanche. Everyone will be dead. Not in this. Not only in this village. Not only in the greater area, everybody in the Alpine reg region will be dead. And why? Because you took the nearest one. I'm sorry, I will never be lazy with my snow cannon turbines again. Silent Hill Snow Cat Simulator, yes. Seriously, a snow, a snow cat would be a pretty simulator. rad vehicle, actually. I mean, think driving around Silent Hill on this thing. Honk, honk, bitches. Smack, <laughs> smush, splat. Honk, honk. <laughs> yes. Hmm, I, I try to... Are there any horror games set into skiing re regions? I don't know. Uh, because... That's I, know the I know of the Japanese, the visual novel Night of the Sickle Beast is set in, in a ski chalet. But other horror games? The Shining the Game, yes, I was thinking. It would be a nice idea because you are completely cut off, it is dark... Um, it's just too bad that you know who the villain is when the game starts. One level in Condemned 2. The best level, in fact. Sisserman. Sisserman Alpine. Cursed Mountain. Could be, yes. Not much blood grieving, not much skiing in the Himalayas, but you got a shitload of dead bodies along the Mount Everest and other mountains. Hmm. Himalaya Corpse Extraction Simulator. Make a simulator, yeah. Simulator. We could just make a simulator where your job is to go up and collect the corpses and bring them back down again. Yes. Mount Everest Simulator. Sherpa Simulator. What I think is the best part, um, you first made this. You first made this clean surface of snow with your with your snowcat, and now you are driving through it with your with your uh, snow cannons and making it make it all again 
messy. Yeah. Not planning. only am I messing it up, I'm also preparing snow cannons that will then cover the groomed area with fresh snow, which means that I will have to re-groom everything. And I'm still not allowed to take that turbine, apparently, because now I'm supposed to take that one! Which is... Nat whoa! Naturally the one that is in the far back. What the hell? Uh. Oof. I like that collisions in this game just has your snow got bounce off. Apparently they have some really good hydraulics in this thing. Yeah, or snowcats are just made of bouncy plastic. This is worse than other simulators. Well, um, well, we, I think we not have scratched the barrel already. Love the accent. <laughs> uh. Love you too, Brickian. <laughs> the worst simulator is that you're playing at any given time. Yes, that can be said, but, um, um, I can go to Amazon and look up the reviews. Okay. Ski Cat yes, Simulator. Ski Cat Simulator 211. Reviews. We've got one five star, two four star reviews, and one two star reviews. So on the average, Snow, uh, Snow Cat Simulator 211 gets 3.8 out of five stars. <laughs> what a, an amazing game. Yes. Yep, and completely unsurprisingly, yes, our next mission is to re-groom the freaking ski trail. <laughs> because we've been ruining it by driving up and down the hill. I just think it, this is just... <laughs> I think the great story behind this is you are just unemployed and this is one this is one way the government tries to make a job for people. This is basically <laughs> yes. Yeah, it wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me. Um does anyone in this room want to have an RC snowcat? I posting a link so you can buy yourself an RC snowcat. Well, no, this is the cheap copy of Ski, Ski Region Simulator. Yep. Okay, they I'm trying to... They just took all out the wonderful oh. riveting gameplay, like ski trail grooming and moving turbines around. Now I'm doing something very difficult. I'm doing on, uh, one on-the-fly uh, translation of uh, one five-star review. At first I had my doubts whether I should buy it. Now I'm very glad that I did it. The game is very fun. To, uh, uh, to This game is very fun. And one has a real big area to work in. Um, graphically, I have to say it's very good and it look, doesn't look cheap. The beautiful thing is that the snowcats are getting snowed in when you drive sometime with it. This looks much more, re looks much more realistic. Well, there you go. Um, when you drive them under a roof, they get uh, freed from the snow. I don't know how this is realistic, but uh, to the physics, I can say I like them. One can one cannot use uh, a turning wheel, but this is, this doesn't matter. In all in all, I say it's a very beautiful game without errors and good graphics. It is without error. <laughs> it is literally yeah, the perfect. Yes, yeah, a fire simulator, uh, an airport um, firefighting simulator. There is also an air rescue simulator, an airport tower sim tower radar simulator, and I think this was where all simulators related to airports. Yeah. 
The funny thing is that I saw that there are actually two airport tower simulators. And then one has lots of great reviews, while the other one has lots of shitty ones. And yes. apparently, one of them isn't properly realistic. So a lot of people have been slamming it and calling it just a pretender to the throne of the real airport tower simulator. There was an airport simulator in the middle of the 90s, I think, and I played it. Yes, and there is the woodcut cutter simulator 211 and 210. Yes, I really, really want to play woodcutter simulator, but I haven't been able to find it cheap enough way to buy the board. Yes, and um, Ricky, and please bring up the picture. I really like this burly man on the cutter simulator. It is really something out of this world. Where we are on the topic of beautiful men on game covers for simulators. Um, in the German game selling top 10 is the second add-on for, um, for farming simulator 211 with historical, um, with historical vehicle. Vehi right, vehi yeah, yeah. I saw that little the expansion beautiful thing is The, the pre-rendered guy on this thing, he, he looks so precious. You want to take him and put him in some... You want to take care of him. <laughs> you want to protect him from the terrible game. Yes, I want to protect him. Yes, I want to protect him. I want... The chainsaw. Um, is there a chainsaw simulator? <laughs> um, yeah! Why isn't this expansion on Steam? Um, because it just it just <laughs> came out in Germany. And I honestly think it would probably cost them more to put it on Steam than they will make from actually selling it on Steam. Yes, because it's historical farming vehicles and I don't think the... I don't know. The average buyer of farming simulator on Steam this, uh, these words were very hard to bring out because of the logical content. The average farming simulator of, on Steam will be much interested in um, historical German plowing, plowers and yeah. seeders. If nothing else, it should be noted that since these are classical industrial era farming tools, they are also smaller, weaker and slower than the regular ones in the games. It's basically, do you want to play farming simulator even slower than do we have the DLC for um, you? I don't want to say anything. I think I... I think Germany's... German has got it really bad in this stream, but there is an historical farming simulator made by the guys of Agrar Simulator. Yeah. You're trying to get it in Germany right now. Well, do it as long it lasts, good blood breathing. Until the millions of Germans have bought it. <laughs> Guaranteed sales. Guaranteed sales. Yes, the hard thing is, according to my calculations, by the pre pre sale numbers of farming simulator, I think one in thousand Germans has bought bought farming has pre has pre ordered farming simulator. Yeah. Last simulator. Apparently the music has stopped for now. <laughs> oh, 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 it's a boss fight. Oh, shit. Skyscraper simulator. Yes, there is a skyscraper simulator. I can't imagine what it has more than uh, Sim Towers, but there is a skyscraper simulator. 
It basically consists of you running across 120 floors, exchanging the toner in and ink packets in faxes and printers. Well, there are office simulation games. But with a satirical twist, like um, you want to get fired for what you are doing. And Frank 10, there is isn't. There is no IT support simulator, but there is a Kinko simulator. But it was made by some American guys, and it's more like a sati it's more like saying, "Look at these poor people at Kinkos. They are copying and doing the shit, and you are really not nice to them." Ah, oh, the music is insane. Back. German redundant statement. Um, Funnily enough, I think uh, in Sweden the suicide rate is, rate is much higher than here in Germany. Yep, we Scandinavians are some of the best in the world at killing ourselves. Which is sort of strange when you take a look at actually the quality of life up here, but I suppose it's just because we are incredibly secular and we live in complete darkness four to five months per year. Yes. Oh, do old ladies? Yes, IT support simulator. Maybe some German publisher is listening along the stream and now he's picking up all the ideas we have. Oh, so I have a forest somewhere. in Japan where the people kill themselves. Yes, this forest. But there are... I think Europe has its own share of famous locations where you can jump off and die. Yeah, there, there is that cliff in England that has like one suicide per week or whatever it is. It actually has a dedicated guy whose job is to sit in a small hut and watch the bridge and the uh, nearby cliff. And every time he sees someone approaching the cliff or bridge side, his job is basically to go out and say, Hey, uh, are you thinking of killing yourself? Because you really shouldn't. Or to wow. stay on the, theme, on the theme of suicide prevention and, hey, we did it? Did we do something? Did we achieve something? Did yes. something happen? We've we unlocked the, yeah, we've unlocked the next ski trail, the groom. I think I have to clap. Now I think to, I have to stop clapping. <laughs> My god, yes, why? Uh, we were on the theme of interesting suicide prevention. Um, in Japanese railroad station, I have read, there is a sign where it says, if you now jump on this train, you will be fined. And very heavily fined. You or, mm -hmm. or the who mm -hmm. you left, leave behind. Wow, this uh, this snowcat simulator made us so 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 bitter, and we should talk about something good. <laughs> something good, eh? Like uh... like like England winning against Sweden. Ha <laughs> ha! Here's the big secret: I actually don't care about soccer at all because I'm not a team sports guy. In any way. I actually don't care much about sports, period. But everyone around me does, because Sweden still has this strange idea that we are still a soccer nation, despite our soccer team having been terrible for the last 15 years or so. It can't be worse than Germany. Sorry, it can't be worse than Germany. But yeah, outside of the Cups, I don't see much uh, fun in watching sports anyway. Not really, also, no. Unless you have vested interest in a team, there's really no reason to watch, is there? Uh, 
I basically just watch because other people watch and say, hey, c come along. And yeah, so I watch and... And gambling. Yes, Lavender, there is gambling. Interesting fact, there was a big, big uh, gambling scandal in the German in the German top Premier League, where or second to Premier League, where um, a referee was proven to, t uh, to have been bribed for to was proven to be bribed. It was a very big scandal. I watch for free alcohols. Jamie Lee, Lee, yes, this is another good reason to do to go to soccer games. Free alcohol. Getting drunk, smashing Getting cars, drunk, yes. and fighting with the police. Hey, we are not. We are. We are at least not Polish or Russian. <laughs> oh dear. Information for our viewers on the overseas territories um, during the Euro Cup, uh, Poland against Russia. Some Polish guy decided, well, we could take revenge for the Russian occupation. And really, really, really did. Yeah, basically, the Russian fans marched through the ho Polish host city for the cup on the day that the Polish celebrate their freedom from the USSR. So basically, yes. on the yeah on the national day representing freedom from the Soviet Union, five thousand Russians came marching down the main streets. Yes, naturally, the the, the, the Poles had a problem with that. Yes, uh, the other thing was was that this wasn't just normal Polish fans like saying, "Oh, well, uh, this when this when uh, this when." Uh, neo Nazis, neo Nazis mostly. Yeah. Well, European sports. So, <laughs> when did the last time in the US get some team really, um, really get the. Uh, I lost my words. Look, in the US, the only thing that matters is the Super Bowl. Super Bowl! But I forgot to go the, the uh, Superb yes. Owl. Um, well, that yes, sounds but um, wasn't there in ice hockey, I think, in Canada, wasn't there a big riot going on? Please, any Canadians? Do we have any Canadians? Domus, are you a Canadian? Yes, uh, we know you are not a Canadian, but maybe you can be Canadian. Say Alpha, maybe you are Canadian, or you have Canadian relatives. Actually, they're from Ohio. Uh, my, best re my regrets to them. <laughs> Oh, Student hi, riots in Quebec and Vancouver, scientists. and riots in Vancouver. Seems like it's America never gets these horrible right simulators. Out. Well, ha 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 ha. Well, they're I know already it. there. Yes, they're already there, and um, I don't think Big Rig Simulator, or how is it called, this really bad uh, game about the really big, big trucks. Those with the truck map. wheels of steel? Seriously, there are so many of those. I, I don't think there was ever a good truck simulator. Please yeah, actually, prove me yeah. wrong. That, that's actually sort of weird. I mean, the Germans at least vary what they simulate, but the US, they almost exclusively make 18-wheeler simulators. It's like truck driving simulators is a genre of its own in the US for some reason and I don't understand why. Maybe? No. Because America. Yes, because fuck yeah, America. Hunting Shooting and trucks. animals and driving big automobiles. Hunting and trucks. Yes, there are only hunting and truck simulators. Hunting and truck simulators with confederacy flags on it. Then. <laughs> really, you know what they should make? The American Truck War, in which you play truck drivers from the north and south. 
One of them has the... Track yeah. The truck drivers with the confederate flags are basically declaring fr freedom fr and decide to secede and start their own truck union, but the northern truck union will not allow it. Then oh. you pick which side you're on, and then it's basically Interstate 76 style truck versus truck death matches. Um, I think this is maybe, if I'm right, this is the background story to Car Wars, but uh, Car Wars had a little bit more post-apocalyptic. Interstate 76, yeah. heck yes, hell yeah, a good game. Really good game. Favorite thing to do? In multiplayer, if someone actually does, you makes use of the ability to lean out the window and use the pistol to fire at you, you can then just hold down the horn and let go of the accelerator, and it will look exactly like you have been shot and killed. People will then, t will then turn their backs, and the moment they do, you just alpha strike their ass with a dozen missiles. It used to piss people off so much. I got called a hacker so many times. Yes. Oh. Yes, Stormwars Car Wars, the game where you can kill yourself with a pistol and where, where there is no skill for, for swimming but for driving a boat. Actually, Frank and Tan, they did make a sequel to Interstate 76. It was called Interstate 82, and it was so bad that the franchise died. So, it yeah. wasn't so bad. It wasn't... <laughs> it was better than 76, and it was... It was one of the first games that had this 80s theme, which was a bit too early. Yeah. Let's see, I wonder if we can finish this part before we move on to the regular stream. Yes. Domus, did you play Car Wars or did you just have uh, Murphy Rules, the uh, book? I'm just asking Domus because Domus knows a whole lot about Car Wars, but this fact was also printed in Murphy's Rules, which is a book about uh, stupid things in games and role-playing games. Did it have a cap chapter on rifts? Um, I think yes, it had a ch I think um, Rifts could really fill a whole book about ridiculous things. I mean, I was about to say, isn't basically the Rifts source books basically just collections of really silly rules? Really silly rules for really silly things, yes. And there are thousands of them, literally. Rift key back, yes. Frankentown, this is a very nice choice, but I like the saga system better. <coughs> you know, you are in a really good game when the people watching it start to talk about role playing their role playing experience. <laughs> well, I never actually claim to play the, the simulated games for people to watch, enjoy and get engaged in, because holy shit, if you're actually getting yes. engaged by this, then come on, see a doctor get medicated please do it fast <clears throat> yes oh, uh, a simulator tabletop game I'm a level 6 snowcat They could basically sell each individual simulator setting as a splat book. You know, could have a whole library of things. 
Um, Frankenstein to the fact is the uh, more adventures, the more role playing game should include choose your own adventures for teaching people. Um, the Call of Cthulhu role playing game does it, at least in the German version. Right. Uh... <laughs> Uh, we did it, well, yes. Uh, yeah. I clap, and then I stop. Yes, one clap is pretty much... That's pretty enough. That's pretty much enough. Yeah, and what's the next mission? Well, it's to groom the cable away. So, yeah. This looks Let's check. Fantastic. How about the leaderboards? Leaderboards, yes. Check out the online leaderboards. They are apparently not working at the moment. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Checking out profile. And it isn't actually registering my time played either. Come on. Well, alright, we've done, the... yeah, we've done all the way through to task five, apparently. Go okay. us. Please go to the credits. Credits. I want to know who is responsible for this. Using physics by NVIDIA. Well, this looks like... this looks... Uh, Croatian, or...? Yeah. Can you upgrade your snow cat at all? Uh, no. Yes, if you fight enough of these snow lanes, you have to grind a bit, then you can upgrade and become a snow cat mage. Bax Lola Sigolaka. Bax. Okay, this was all. And it has, it has a NVIDIA physics engine. Yep. Yep. Seriously, the only good thing about Actalogic is their logo. The purple winged pig with the red snout and floating eyeballs. I actually like that pig. It appears as a hot air balloon in Agriculture Simulator, just flying above your farm. Sort of freaky. Yes. Right, well that's enough Snowcat Simulator I think, so I'm going to get set up for some proper Saturday morning cartoon games. Okay, then Feel I'm familiar. out. Thanks for then joining me today. Good, time. good night again, and um, remember always, um, we Germans don't only make simulators. We also make porn games. We also make... It's not really porn, it's just naughty. It's uh, Benny Hill naughty games. If that helps you sleep at night, Quantum Squirrel, if that helps you sleep at night. Right, yes, yes. They, they also make the Settlers. So, yeah, we have to keep that in mind, yeah. Yeah. Well, in any case, see you fellas in just a bit when we get back into the Saturday morning cartoon games.